Ah uh, man, I thought we were done with the teams that didn't make the bubble, but we have one more. The Minnesota Timberwolves. Um, I like Timberwolves, I'm not sure how I forgot. Um, you know the drill. We keep it somewhat realistic. We are going to simulate the first season because 2K has an updated start today. I hope they do when they get to the playoffs. I mean, I hope they do when they get to the playoffs, goddamn. Um, this is this is our rotation for the first season, and let's jump to the end. Hopefully we have a decent pick. If not, I feel like we're in a position to bring some decent players in. And usually in 2K, Minnesota do quite well. And I like the combination of Towns and Russell. And Beasley's pretty good too. So let's just go straight to the end of the year. And we'll see you with whatever record we've got. Alright, we actually might have nearly made the playoffs. That, <laughs> that could be a little bit of a problem, to be honest. Um, we go 41 and 41. Um, anything unusual here? Demarcus Cousins wins six men in Denver. That's interesting. They get yet another big man. Um, I we might have Towns. Yeah, Towns is all NBA first team. Wow, wow, dude, he went crazy. He went crazy. I didn't think we'd have Russell anywhere, and we do not have Russell anywhere. Do we have any rookies? We get Culver. Nope. I still like Culver in real life. I just think he needs time to develop. And yes, we are in the playoffs. We're playing the Lakers. Just out of curiosity, let's just see if they change anyone. They. They have the exact same team, I think. Actually, no. I think we missed someone there. I think there's someone down the bottom. Yeah, they got Rodney Magruder. And he was a Clipper. So they made a trade with the Clippers. That's interesting. Quinn Cook to the Clippers. All right, let's just see how we go. Honestly, I really don't care. And we get swept. Pretty expected. Let's check out our stats on the year. Towns goes crazy. D'Angelo was good. Beasley was pretty good. James Johnson was actually pretty solid. Okogi struggled, Culver struggled, Hernan Gomez struggled. <laughs> We're going to have to make some moves. We definitely have to make some moves. I do like Evans, though. Evans played pretty decent. He played pretty decent for us, so... Let's just see. We're not going to have a lottery pick, unfortunately. Um, yeah, let's just see what we can do as the Nets win the title. All right, Ryan Saunders is already gone, so... Honestly, let's just get... I feel like a... <laughs> I mean... Pace and Spates fits. It fits. You can't hate me too much for it. We didn't trade James, who looks awfully like Josh Jackson. Kind of like a budget version of Josh Jackson. Um, let's just sign these guys here. Let's just get the best possible, because that is what we want. Well, the best available right now. Um, I'm just going to jump into the draft, and let's see who we take. All right, man, we're going to do this trade here. Jake Lehman in a second for the Lakers first. I mean, a first-round pick for Jake Lehman might seem like a bit much, but it's the Lakers first, so it's basically a second-round pick, let's be honest. Um, let's go to our pick. We have the 18th pick, so not perfect. Let's just see who's here. RJ Hampton's here. I do like RJ Hampton. I know we don't necessarily need RJ Hampton, but we're taking RJ Hampton. Welcome to... The Minnesota Timberwolves, who they actually took in my rebuild the other day. The All-Australian rebuild. Go check that out on my channel. I might link it if I can figure out how to do it, but I don't think I can. So, that's on you. That's on you guys. And we also got the Nets pick. Um, I'm just going to take whoever... Oh, do we have some good centers? We're drafting, we're drafting players that we don't need, honestly. Do we have any good power forwards? No. Um, you know, he usually does pretty good. Aaron, Nays Aaron Naismith, I think, or Aaron Nismith. I've already more points. We're drafting him. We're getting another small forward. It is what it is. Let's just quickly jump to our second round pick. We're taking the best available. We are going to take... Um, you know what? We always get Sharif O'Neal, so he's coming back again. Sharif, Sharif is on the team, boys. I'm going to bring all those guys in. No one's too high of an overall, but that's all right. We're not looking to win it all next year. Not by any means. I don't really care for you, Spellman, so you can leave... Um, I'll just I'll just catch you as a free agency with whoever the hell we get. I've got no idea what I'm going to do yet, but I'll figure it out. I know we're going to bring this man back. We need definitely to bring that man back. All right, this is who I've decided to get. I've decided to bring in Jeremy Grant. Um, we need a power forward. I feel like he fits the build pretty good. We're going to have to match Malik Beasley as well. Hopefully he doesn't screw over Jeremy Grant. It does. Oh, that, that that does hurt. That definitely hurts. Okay, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to figure things out because we def we didn't get Jeremy Grant and we need a power forward because I don't want James Johnson starting. Well, wildly enough, we still get Jeremy Grant, just on a bit cheaper of a deal. So, that's cool. I think I think we have our team for next year. We can... Uh, I guess we can play Hampton. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, we're cool. We're cool. We're cool for next year. we got our team. We're young. It's just going to be about progressing. Um, looks like those guys are coming back as well. I don't think I'll play them. I might have to cut some, but I just got to training camps. 
All right, man, we got two. We only have two. Kind of unfortunate. Going to send Malik Beasley, get him up to an A+, because I think he can be very good for us. And, hmm. Honestly, I'm going to send Jarrett Culver. For that worst comes to worst, we'll trade him, and he'll have good value. Oh, we have too many plays. I'll sort that out, and I'll see with what our rotation is going to be. All right, man, here's our rotation. Pretty much got the same starting lineup, except Jeremy Grant is here now. Um, we've got James Johnson. We're going to play RJ Hampton quite a few minutes. Um, he's actually going to be our sixth man in the end. Um, Culver and then Nas Reed's going to get some running for us this year. Um, I'm not sure how we're going to do. We're probably going to be fringe playoff again. Because D'Angelo's up to a 90. So, we're looking alright. We're actually looking pretty decent. I don't think I'm going to have to make too many changes to this team to get to where we want to be. But, let's just see how we're doing at either the trade deadline or the end of the year. It depends, it depends how things are going. Alright man, here we are at the trade deadline. We suck. We are 16 and 34. Somehow we got so much worse. Um, here's our player stats, that's why, because everyone else is playing terrible. Oh my god. Um, I might just see what I get for James Johnson. He could have some value. He's a 77. He's on the last year of his deal. So we can get a pick or something. And yeah, because we don't have our pick. So this is a problem. All right, man, we're going to do this trade right here. James Johnson and two second round picks for Kelly Olenek and a first. I have no interest in Kelly Olenek. I believe he's on the last year of his deal. If he's not, if he's got a player option, I'm going to be kind of mad. Okay, no, we're cool. We're cool. So we get a first round pick out of that. Um, let's update our rotation and I'll show you that when I've done that. All right, new rotation. Um, starting lineup is a bit different. We put Culver in there. I mean... His shooting percentages aren't great, but they're better than this man's, who's playing pretty bad for us. Um, RJ Hampton's going to move up to about 30 minutes a game. Hernan Gomez is now here, and there's Nas Reed. So, I mean, <laughs> our pick, I had a look at our pick is top three protected. We we really need to get a top three pick, honestly. That's Otherwise, we're kind of screwed. All right, we did absolutely miserably. 22 and 60. I'm not really sure what went <laughs> what went wrong. We'll just go with what went wrong. I'm not sure what went wrong. Um, there's faults. Wow, there's good numbers of faults. Um, do we have Towns anyway? Yeah, there's Towns again. Towns play good. Um, I don't believe we have D'Angelo Russell anywhere. We do not. We might have Mr. Yeah, we do have RJ Hampton. He played pretty decent for us. He played pretty decent. We're obviously not in the playoffs. We are looking at probably yeah, the number one worst team in the West. Dude, look at the West. Oh my god. That's weird. The highest wins was 45. Dude, out here, they would have been the 8th seed. That's crazy. We have the number one odds. We need a top three pick. Otherwise, otherwise we're screwed. We really need that top three pick. All right, here we are at the draft lottery. There's the Warriors with our pick. We don't have any other pick. We get... Of course. Oh, of course it falls to four. Of course it falls to fucking four. Holy... Oh my god. Dude, the draft lottery in this is so rigged. I swear to god. I swear to god. Um, let's let's bring this man in. We're going to have to make some big moves. We really are going to have to make some big moves. I feel like we've got a decent roster despite our record. Um, I feel like we just might need another year of development or something. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go to the draft. I'm going to see if we can get... I'm going to see if we can get a pick. Alright, well, it's actually not that bad because we have a higher pick than last year in the Lakers pick. Um, Terrence Clark is here. It says he's good. It also says Isaiah Jackson's good. You know, we need a power forward, man. I'm taking Isaiah Jackson. He's coming in. And second round as well because you never know what you're going to get in the second round. I don't know any of these guys. Um, we dropped him before. Jason Timberlake. Welcome to the team. Alright, we are going to bring all these guys back in. Um, just because why the hell not? I don't really have any interest in bringing Jordan McLaughlin back because, I mean, I didn't use him. We honestly, we already have 14 players, so we'll have to see. We don't have, we don't have any money. Um, is this our team for next year? I might trade, I might trade Josh Okogie. I might trade Josh Okogie in like, hmm. I'm gonna, you know what, I'm just going to go to the start of the year. I'm happy with this team. I'm happy with this team. I'm going to sign someone just for some... Extra money on the books, though. I'm going to sign maybe like a center or something. Just whoever I think is going to have pretty good value. All right, well, we bring in KCP because I feel like he's got some pretty good value. So, because he's a 79. He's young-ish. Um, let's just jump to our training camps and let's see what we do there before we move on to the next season. All right, we've got two training camps. Honestly, this year I'm trying to win. So, big man defense to cat. 
and perimeter defense to Mr. D'Angelo. So they're both 94, dude. So honestly, no excuses. There should be no excuses. We have 16 people. I will sort that out. And then I'll be showing you guys the rotation, maybe even a trade. We'll just have to see. Where, we'll, we'll just see. We'll see. Ah, right, man, that's what we're rocking with. We got D'Lo, Beasley, Caldwell, Pope, Grant Towns, and then our bench, we got RJ Hampton, Culver, Sharif, and Nas Reid. I decided not to play a Kogi. Um, I feel like there's just no room for him right now. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not feeling too great. I might have to do another year. If so, we'll see if we make a move in free agency. But let's just see. Let's just see where we're at at the trade deadline, honestly, because I'm ready to make some trades if it if it comes to that. Well, on the bright side, we've already won ten more games than we did last year. Um, I'm, I mean, what are we? Yeah, we're the sixth seed. Um, I'm going to I'm going to explore the trade market. I'm going to see who's doing bad for us real quick. We'll see if anyone's disappointing. Beasley's doing really well for us. I'm honestly quite impressed by that. RJ Hampton's playing well. Maybe these two, because these two are on. They're on a bit of money. Culver. You know, what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go see what I can put together. I'm just gonna go see what I can put together. All right, yeah, this is kind of crazy. Clay Thompson's available for a trade. Clay Thompson's like he's on the trade block. He's on the trade block. I'd be wild if I didn't at least try. How much money is that man on? He's on. He's on thirty-seven million. Oh my god. It's not worth trading Beasley, I don't think. Yeah, I mean, arguably Beasley's doing better numbers. Let's just see if we can make the money work with these guys. But look at the trade value of these guys, dude. We could get something. I mean, the money works. I definitely want Pascal in return. And... And Sadoransky, I guess. I guess. Do we have anyone else that we can just throw in? Evans? Send him back to Golden State? And we can also grab a Damian Dotson and a... What's wrong? Okay, they're going to have too many players. It's crazy, because this trade could probably work. If I do... And then throw in Isaiah Jackson too. Oh my god. Dude, this trade would work. <laughs> that trade would work for Clay. Do I just give up everything for Clay? No, nah, that's not worth it. I'm going to keep looking. I'm going to keep looking. That's, that's interesting though. That's really weird. I've never seen that before. So that's kind of cool. I mean, I'm going to try and trade for Rui Hachimura. Um, I mean, he's a bit of an upgrade. He's an 84 now. The Wizards suck. They're selling. The rest of these guys are sort of just filler pieces. Not going to happen. I am... I'm willing to throw in first. And there we go. We get Rui. Rui Hachimura's on the team. So that's... That's honestly an interesting trade. I don't... People don't usually do that. Um, I'm honestly not done. I'm going to see what else we can do. But yeah, I'm quite happy with that. I'm quite happy with that. All right, man. I'm going to try and trade for Kelly Oubre. The Pistons are selling. He's on a bit of money, but that's all right. We want Kelly Oubre, please. And we get him. You know what? I'm satisfied with the team now. Let's go check out our rotation. All right, man. Here's what we're rocking. We've got D'Lo, Beasley, Oubre, Hachimura, Towns, Hampton, Culver, Sharif, O'Neal, and Nas Reed. I'm feeling good. I don't know if we'll win it this year, but we're all young. So the team will be even better next year if we don't get it done. But I feel good. I feel pretty good. All right. You know, we end up all right. 47-35. I'll take it. Jonathan Cunnington's rookie of the year. I don't think I've ever seen that. Interesting. Um, anything new? Did I top and most improved player? I mean, I guess, from 5 to 9 points. Lucas Lucas. <laughs> what a name. Lucas Lucas, the absolute goat. Um, we've got Cat there. There is Cat. D'Angelo Russell makes it. I knew he was in. He averaged 10 assists, bro. That's crazy. That is absolutely crazy. I mean, not really. He averages like 7 or so in real life. But you get my point. You get my point. Um, do we have anyone else around here? We do have Shreve O'Neal on the All Rookie Second Team, so that's kind of cool. Um, we are the fifth seed going up against Houston Rockets. Coming over here, they they brought Clint Capella back. That's kind of funny. <laughs> they got Duncan Robinson. He fits. Um, they got Scotty Lewis. JJ Barre is in there. You know what? I feel all right. Let's check out our season stats before we do anything else. Three above twenty. Kelly Oubre played really good for us. That's quite. Good. That's that's pretty cool. Hachimura didn't do much, but apparently he's irritated. So, fair enough to him, he's irritated. Um, Boban down there, he didn't play for us. That was definitely his time in Detroit. Now, let's see. Let's just see how we go. I'm not going to be too mad no matter how this goes. I'm definitely happy with how that went because we won. Now, Memphis. We got Rudy Gobert, Valentunas. Ooh. Ooh. Dude, I thought... I honestly thought that Zion Williamson for a second, just because Z Williams, you know, it's like, it's like three quarters of his name. Now, let's just see how we go. I don't feel good. 
And we lost in seven, damn, bro. Oh, we only lost by four? Oof. Um, on the bright side, though, I believe we have just about everyone under contract for next year. If not, they're on, like, rookie deals or whatever, so they'll be fine. And we can have, a, we can have another crack at this. One last crack. We'll see how we go. Worst comes to worst. We'll make a big trade at the trade deadline, and at least we lost to the champions, so that makes me feel good. All right, well, we had Johnny Juzang sitting on our roster. He was in one of the... I think he was in, like, the Kelly Olenek trade or something. I'm not sure how he got him. He was on our roster, and the Bulls are giving us the first-round pick for him. So that's all we're doing at this year's draft, and that first-round pick might come in handy. I mean, unfortunately, I, think we've, I don't know if we're going to be able to bring in Sharif O'Neal or not. So for insurance, we're going to sign Kader Bates there, which depends if he gets a deal. If he doesn't get a deal, he's going to be back on the qualifying offer. If he does, then he's gone, unfortunately, because we don't have the rights. Um, let's just see. Let's just see him. Please, please be back. Please be back. He He's back. Okay, we're cool. So pretty much, we literally have the exact same team. It's just everyone. Yeah. Yeah, everyone got better. Literally everybody got better. So I'm feeling pretty, I'm feeling nice. I'm feeling really nice. This is a very good team. All right, training camps, we're going to keep the trend going. Defense to Towns. Defense to D'Lo. And to finish it off, defense to Beasley. Just to try and make it not as bad as what it was. I'm going to sort the rotation out. I'll show you guys before we do. And then we're just going to jump probably to the end of the season. Because I feel, I feel really good. I feel good about this squad. All right, man, here's our rotation. Um, pretty similar if not exactly the same as last year in terms of order. And let's just see how we go. I'm expecting at least 50 plus wins at the minimum. Um, if it's going poorly, I'll see you right here at the trade deadline. Otherwise, we'll be at the end of the year. All right, man. I think this is like one of the best, this is like the best record we've had in any video yet. 62 and 20. You won't believe me, but we started off like five and eight. So we really, and then we won like, we won like 18 of our next 20. I don't know, it was something crazy. Um, do we have anyone here? Ricky Rubio, sixth man of the year again. He's in Miami. RJ Barrett wins most improved. Yep, he's not on the Knicks because the Knicks are dumb. And we get coach of the year with... I think that's what he looks like in real life, so I'm not going to make any comments about the shape of his head. <laughs> I feel like that would be kind of rude. Um, we have Cat again on an all-NBA team. I uh, don't think we're going to have anyone else anywhere, and we do not. We better be the one seed. We are the one seed. We are convincingly the best team in the league, to be honest. Player stats, all looking pretty similar. RJ Hampton's playing very well. He was a good draft pick to get at 18. He's been very good for us. Culver, honestly. If I had to change anything, I'd probably get a different small forward off the bench. But let's just see. We're playing the Warriors. I'm honestly interested. Who do the Warriors have? They got James Wiseman. Wow. With the 13th pick, too. Oh, my Lord. They got this guy, who just won Rookie of the Year. They got a very young team. Steph and Clay are getting ready to take over. I mean, to... To be taken over, you know what I mean. You get it. 2-2, two, two, I don't like it. I'm going to sim cast this just to see how it goes. We're down 3-2, boys. Alright. Who's out of the rotation? Mr. Oh, I would say Cole, but he's playing good. Sharif, really? Alright, Sharif O'Neal. I'm sorry, brother. But you're gone. I don't want to give... Honestly, Nazareed, I don't really care about you or for you. It's all about these guys getting more minutes. Let's let's keep it let's keep it real right now. Let's keep it real. Alright, these guys are getting lots and lots of minutes now, so please. If we get done in the first round, I'm gonna be so mad. Alright, here we are, we're just gonna sim cast it. We're running away with it, kind of. They're hanging around. We got it. Oh Bro, did you see that run? Did you see that run? Oh my god. D'Angelo Russell played well, there's Towns. We need a big one. I think I saw the Kings in the next round. I'd fancy our chances against the Kings. And yeah, alright. Alright, they just want 2K just wanted to scare me, man. They just wanted to scare me. That's how you get our best players good minutes, dude. Look at them. Everyone played well. Kelly Ubre kind of sold the bag a little bit. And then here we are going up against the Kings. The Kings. Okay. We got a Kong Wu. I believe that's how you say it. I'm not an expert. It'd be nice to be an expert on pronouncing names because that would be quite helpful, but we're not. So we're just gonna have to put up with it. Let's see how we go. We're up 3-2. I'm just going to do the back in, back out. Okay, we're at seven games. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. You know what? Send it, dude. Oh, I did Simcast live. God damn it. All right, that took like 20 seconds to get out of, but for me, that felt like it took like an hour to get out of. So, please, game seven. Two game seven series is kind of crazy. Oh my god, no. Oh no. Oh, you know what? 
that's probably we had our best regular season record, but that's like the worst we've done. We only got to the second round, and I oh, don't tell me the Bulls win it, and the Bulls win the title. Kobe White's final MVP. You know, I'm really curious, dude. Who's on the Bulls? Who's on the Bulls? Okay, we got Kawhi, we got Shea. Wow, well, we got Evan Mobley. Yeah, okay, no wonder why. But I mean, we put together a pretty good team. A very different team. I like to try and keep the team core somewhat together, and I feel like we definitely succeeded with that here. Um, but yeah, we tried. We're done with these. Um, I know that the there's like a few teams eliminated now, so I'm gonna be they're going to be the next teams that I start into doing. Hopefully, we get most of them done before 2K21, and hopefully 2K21 is actually different. Let's be honest; it's kind of been the same for a while now. But yeah, that's going to be it from me. Um, Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and yeah, peace out.